What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I got this watch from Marchand Watch Company. Marchand? I feel like it's French. Comes in this kind of cool, I'm just going to say pleather uh, zippered case here. Now, I do want to give a shout out to my boys Scott at Watches Galore and Aaron Dunlop. This is actually uh, on loan right now from Aaron. You can check out uh, both of their channels. I'll put links to them below. We have the Marchand logo here. It looks like a little bit of a kind of a microfiber interior. Looks like we got a couple straps here if you wanted to. Uh, you know tie these books down now, i think aaron's already taking a look at this so this may not this may not be how it comes to you when you actually get it but i think it's probably pretty close so we do have some uh information here and uh the marshall watch company is kind of interesting and i won't go into the whole uh history of it here but i will say that i think it's a <laughs> i should have read some of it though uh, a new zealand company Yes, confirmed. New Zealand it is. And um, so it's a New Zealand company, so it might not be, you know, as widely known as other brands here in the U.S., but I love checking out some of these international companies and these micro brands. Uh, interesting history. The great-grandfather of uh, the gentleman who I think is running the company right now and kind of the brainchild behind this watch called the Debonair is... Uh, was in the automotive industry and that's probably no surprise given the the look of this watch right which is obviously automotive inspired and so between having a lot of automotive background and then a passion for watches and i think uh, lived in switzerland and uh, maybe even worked in the watch industry you know obviously they are building watches right now that are steeped in that tradition of both watches and automotive now i really like both of those scenes you know for me personally i'm into cars and watches and so when you have a blend of the two it uh, just makes it great kind of like blended whiskey and uh, blends of wine right so you get the best of both worlds right my love of detroit and my love of watches is manifested in shinola my uh, love of watches and my love of cars has been manifested in things like the chopar mille Emilia uh, edition watches and a number of other brands another brand out of uh, Britain I think called BRM uh, you know a watch that I've never owned but a watch company that I've watched a lot and <laughs> uh, punny and you know this actually kind of reminds me of the BRM in some ways here so I'm kind of seeing hints of a lot of different watch companies already I will say that this is the Debonair it's not a super expensive watch it's not a cheap micro brand but it seems like a really great watch so uh, first thing I will say, it's a Ronda 785 Swiss Quartz Movement. So this is a Quartz Movement. There is a version coming out with, I believe, a Miyota Automatic. So if you want that watch, you know, uh, definitely go to uh, the MarshawnWatches.com website or the Facebook page and follow them. It has a flat sapphire crystal. So uh, always nice to see sapphire. I'm almost kind of a fan of only using sapphire, I guess, unless you're going to a really low price point. Stainless steel, as you can see, a brushed-like case here. Maybe I can really get in on it there. Brush-like case. Uh, I think this is an aluminum textured ring around it. So what we can see here is it's like orange, uh, anodized aluminum. We have this crosshatch pattern, which matches the stitching here on the watch band very, very nicely. Gives it a great feel. In fact, I think that the side view is uh, maybe even a little more interesting than the front view because of kind of the, the large swaths of kind of flat uh, metal finish but you know I love that and I love the fact that you get a little bit of hint of orange here and then kind of like a real big splash of it here and then ties through so maybe it's kind of nice that you're not always getting struck with orange as you're looking at it but as you kind of catch a glimpse of the side you get a little flavor flavor now uh, Super Luminova hands and numerals. Uh, I did take a look at that in the dark. They look uh, pretty great. It is a little interesting because you have this steering wheel, this like 60 style racing steering wheel with the portholes on it on the front. So you're you're basically missing the two and the 10 and the six here. And, uh, uh, and also maybe the new and the 12 o'clock number because of the Marshawn logo. And so it kind of feels a little numerically bottom heavy in with the Lumon. But uh, so you can see that, but it, you know, it, it, the loom works great. Super Luminova always seems to work great. 43 millimeter case and 20 millimeter lugs. Uh, and I do want to roll it over here on the back so that we can kind of see the back. Very flat back, has this uh, center piece that is basically kind of, uh, you know, how you would access the movement and, you know, some uh, etching around the back here. So driver edition. And uh, that is also accentuated by these porthole rally 
band types are rally yeah rally straps i guess you know chopard is famous for using these with the holes i'm generally a fan of these on the wrist i will show that to you here because they they look good they breathe well but they do have this kind of uh stark casual look to them right so even if you have a casual watch this really kind of dresses it up it's kind of like wearing instead of a bomber leather jacket which is what i'd equate most like leather watch bands to this would be kind of more like a motorcyclist leather jacket it just the when you put those perforations those big port holes in it it really gives it a really really sporty look so um maybe you think that's pretty subtle but uh, i think it ends up looking really sporty so you kind of kind of go a little casual with this it's going to be a great it would be a perfect watch for me to take out and drive my prowler in now as you can see I love the leather here. It tapers a little bit, 20 millimeters at the lugs. I definitely love the fact that the color uh, stitching matches the uh, aluminum. You can see here the Marshawn watch buckle is definitely kind of a nice premium piece there as well. And uh, one free floating retaining strap right there. So all brushed up here. Now on the back, I also do want to say that uh, I really like uh, the proliferation of the quick release straps here so you can just kind of compress the spring bar yourself with this little nub and put it in i also like this kind of hidden lug system so you can see here that uh let me go in on that bad boy you know we have a cutout in the case where the band will uh, fit into and then uh, float and rotate in there this is not the first time i've seen it i really do like it i don't really have i will say that i haven't had a lot of watches like this whoops um, <laughs> these uh, these watch these quick deployment watch bands are easier to use than I'm making it look like they're already in. But that's you know you can really change up the look really quickly. Now the cool thing about it is you don't have these lugs hanging off, so you get a really modern, clean look. Uh, the two watches that I can think of that have recently pulled this off is like the Moto 360 smartwatch and also Zetums out of San Francisco. They tend to do uh, the the lugless design, and I really like the clean look kind of just makes it look like uh i don't know i like i said more modern industrial a little less traditional and uh, you know they they feel good you've got to have actually a fairly large watch not not huge but a large watch because um you're kind of bringing these bands in a little closer so you know you don't have as much space here you know you're probably uh bringing them in almost a centimeter closer so you know, the smaller the watch is, the closer these bands get together. But you can see here, that should hug the watch nicely. And when I put it on my wrist, it felt really good. So uh, I've never owned a Zidum and check those out. But, uh, you know, it reminds me of it. Now, I will show you here. We got we have the Marchand uh, logo on the crown itself. And let's go ahead and play around with it a little bit here. I don't know that it's water resistant at all. Um, I also like that you have kind of these angled... Uh, cuts on it. It kind of is like a, um, a pinion, you know, so I don't, know, I don't know if that's intentional. And uh, I will say it just kind of pulls out. So on the first position here we have time adjustment. And so here's where we're going to take a look at the face. Obviously we have a three-spoke steering wheel and that is a pretty thick design element. You know, when I saw it, I wasn't sure, like on the picture, if it was kind of a, a piece just pressed in the dial. I definitely think that's applied, and it's pretty nice. I'm sorry about the uh, the glare and things. But as you can see, that definitely seems to be applied. In fact, it seems to almost taper a little bit down here, right? It's a little thicker up here and tapers down there to kind of blend it in. Uh, it goes, it meets right up against this outer ring, which has a lot of the little graduations. White markings all the way around. A red marking or orange are probably markings at the five minute marks and then the last 10 minutes marked off um, with every minute marked off and then as you can see here super luminova looks like outlined with a little bit of a silver paint around each of the numbers we even have a little bit of additional dial design around that very center piece of inside the steering wheel there where the, kind of your horn would be and then straight hands you know the red orange on the second hand as well as around the date window at the four o'clock position so just really nice looking kind of a deep black matte black finish on everything so um the first position obviously for setting the time and then it does have a second position it seemed like i thought or did i already go over it oh first position i was in the second position 
is for setting the date, and then the second position is for setting the time. So there you go. I can correct myself on the fly, just like that. So really beautiful watch, and uh, I will say not brutally expensive either, right? So it is $449, I believe, for this version. And I'm not sure what the automatic version is, but obviously if that's something that's interesting to you, usually there are Scotch more, so you have to budget just a little bit more for those, but um, I really, really like this. I Man, this is a good looking watch. Uh, man, and it's just, it's pretty unique. I, I guess my thing about a lot of these watches, is it's so hard to be unique in watches these days. Uh, especially in automotive themed watches, you know, that has really been done a lot, but I think they've done a nice successful job here of maybe not necessarily doing something just way off the reservation that looks weird. Um, it's got a traditional look, but it's unique. It has a modern look with a very retro inspired uh, dial here. And so it kind of uh, brings together a lot of disparate pieces in a way that I think looks uh, functional. Uh, unified and you know elegant so pretty pretty impressed with it I'd love to check out some more stuff from Marchand so thanks to Aaron and Scott for including me on the look on this watch and uh, check out their channels as well and uh, I'll put a link to some cool automotive watches down below if you want to check out a few more Peter Von Panda out